In order to answer any question, you need to first understand its elements. In other words, break it down into its smallest parts. We can call this deconstructing the language of the task. Note that you can use this deconstruction technique with all questions, whether it's on a IELTS TOEFL standardized test exam, in an any class essay, or for your reports and other advanced writing throughout your entire career. Here is our research question and task. How does language contribute to reducing or creating harm to people, animals, and or the environment? Focus on one of the world's most serious problems and write between 1,500 and 2,000 words. Now, deconstruct this into its smallest parts. Smallest parts of language. How does language contribute to reducing harm or creating harm to people, animals, and or the environment? Focus on one of the world's most serious problems. Write 1,000 500 to 2,000 words. But there are so many possibilities, you might ask. Which one do I choose? Well, at master's and PhD level, that is your decision, not the professor's. Here's the technique we're going to teach you, and it'll change your life. First, break the research task down into its basic elements, then work backwards from the bottom of the list asking yourself questions in words that you can understand. If the task is open-ended, think about the specific areas that you might want to write about while answering your questions. Let's take another look at our deconstructed research task. How does language contribute to reducing harm or to creating harm to people, animals, and or the lived environment. Focus on one of the world's most serious problems. Write 1,500 to 2,000 words. Answer these questions, then move on to the next topic. Notice that we flipped the order of the research question and task and put it into our own words so that we could clearly understand what it is requiring us to do. First one, what can I write about within eight pages or 2,000 words? Next, what is one of the world's most serious problems that I want to understand more deeply? Next, is this serious problem mostly affecting people, animals, or the environment? Next, what are some of the buzzwords or keywords related to this problem that people are using? Finally, is the language around this problem working to solve it or make it worse? Remember, breaking a task down into its smallest elements helps you understand exactly what you need to do and then working backwards by turning the instructions into questions and putting it into your own words helps you to limit the scope of your answer. Let's move on to the next topic so you can create your own research question.